Well, the tiny home project uh, originated through a meeting with Eva John Gladue, uh, who's the program manager for Tribal Chiefs and Employment Training Association Services through Treaty 6. Also, the uh, training director of ALTTF, Alberta Labor's Training Trust Fund, Owen Fleming, uh, Kathleen Thompson from Tradewinds, and myself, uh, Larry Villeneuve, the Aboriginal liaison with the uh, Local 92. This was really a wraparound program where they started off with personal development training and then they moved on to academic um, refresher training. Then they moved on to the construction craft laborer and then the tiny home build. And with the tiny home build, they were exposed to many different trades. So plumbing, carpentry, insulating, uh, electrical, flooring, painting, you name it. So it's not, it wasn't just one trade, they have a multitude of trades now. And then now they can look back and really assess where they're heading. We can't continue to enable poverty. We have to ensure that e these individuals are getting the skills that they need to be, to be successful out there. It, it, it's a positive reinforcement letting people know that uh, there's alternative ways of, uh, of making a career. But uh, this is very important because it only not only gives, it builds them a roof, it gives them a home to one First Nations member, and it, it gives them the skills necessary in order for them to go further. So that, that's very important. It, it, it builds uh, the self-sufficient and self-reliancy within the individual and which is a ripple effect and then she goes into the community. Me, I got lucky. I had a dad that was in carpentry and my auntie's husband is a journeyman carpenter himself is who I worked under. So it, that's how I got into it. And these boys didn't, don't have anybody necessarily like that. So having this training program, giving them the skills and the opportunity to pick what they want to do is something good. That's very helpful. So, See, for a lot of our young people, there's nothing here. You have to go to town and knock on some doors, and the sad fact of the reality is about things is we don't have vehicles and stuff. Nobody's willing to give us a chance, you know, but if you have kind of these kind of programs on uh, our communities, we have people like myself and Bo that are becoming journeymen, and, you know, now we're being able to give our own people a, own people a chance to make something of themselves, right? You know, it's basically up to them. But you know, this program coming here to our own communities is very beneficial for us and for our future generations to come. You know, in four years, these guys will be able to give somebody else the opportunity. In regards to the building aspect of certainly there's a structure being built, but an individual and personal structure is being built at the same time. You know, when we look at success as, as a result of taking the action, and these individuals took the action, but certainly not just, just that of a home but really that of the essence of taking the initiative and setting the example for those that are to come as a result of putting this action forward.